and dumb people. We've got to Anyway, so my topic is ancient aliens and why they existed. So why did I pick aliens? I picked aliens because I knew this was going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity to seriously talk about aliens in an academic setting. Like, who is going to let me write an entire research paper on why aliens existed and indoctrinate the minds of, of little kids? So, ancient aliens existed because of common worldwide practices, uh, unexplainable structures on Earth, and of uh, evidence for ancient climate change. So, my first reason is common worldwide practices, and one example of this is the Dogon in West Africa. And they believed that they were visited by aliens who gave them expansive knowledge into serious speed. So it's invisible to the naked eye. It's supposed to be like a little dot behind this thing, but I don't think you can see it because it's lighting on it. Uh, and head binding, or ICM, is a common practice found in ancient grave sites that was a symbol of status, power, and achieving the hairline. And another reason why ancient aliens existed is because there are a ton of unexplainable structures on Earth. And in Bolivia, an ancient temple stands out with stone blocks with precision that rival even modern machinery. And these blocks are massive, weighing about 140 tons, just like you. <laughs> and the Iowa Gym is another ancient underground temple, kind of like a basement. And it has some weird acoustic features, like reverberating the sound of a heartbeat. Anyway, so, wait. And my last piece of evidence is that there is evidence for ancient flying machines. And deep in the Amazon rainforest, little gold figurines that resemble modern day aircraft were discovered. And you could say this is just a coincidence, but there is evidence that isolated tribes in South America and Africa that were visited by airplanes build ceremonial statues in the shape of airplanes. And Manka Shastra is an ancient Sanskrit text that describes everything about the Manas, or ancient Indian aircraft, including how they were built. And Talpeg was a Sanskrit, Sanskrit scholar who built an unmanned Ramana <coughs> for this text, and it flew to 1,500 feet. However, the British put a stop to his antics, forever losing his work in history. And these Ramanas have also become a part of Indian literature. Um, some famous, Indi some famous Indian poems include how the gods fought in flying machines and had advanced weaponry. And one, even, and one poem even describes something similar to a nuclear bomb. So conclusions. I learned that we don't know as much about anything as we think we do. Like, even if you don't believe in aliens after all of this proof, it still shows that we don't know as much about our past as we think we do. So do I want to research more? Yes, I want to research more. I want to go to UFO University with its expansive list of courses and majors and an amazing, an amazing faculty and staff and even a filming studio, all on the best college campus. If that doesn't work out, there's still Allen College, which is close enough. So an interesting fact. In Baalbek, Lebanon is the Temple of Jupiter, and it's built on 3,000 ton stone blocks, which is about 6 million pounds. And I thought that was cool. So I have one final question. Are you an alien? Because you abducted my heart. Yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have an instrument meant for everyone. Oh, well.